Hello. So, short video about what I've just made. Uh, the drills powering the walker run on these uh, power MOSFETs. This is a uh, IR something or other. 3 amp. But obviously, if you just use one of these with pulse width modulation, you only get a single direction. So I was looking online and I found some plans for a 10 amp H bridge. Um, I changed the plan somewhat, so I have two on a board, um, and in the plans they just had an Arduino going straight through it, or a pit going straight into it. Whereas I've added a space for an optocoupler, which I've got there. Uh, as you can see, the board's powered. This is a 5 volt supply for the optocoupler. Uh, it's running on a 2 cell lipo here. Um, so, well, we'll just show you that it works basically. So, this is motor 1, motor 2. Motor 1 is down here from the optocoupler. Motor 2 is down there. So, if I do the first setting, so you turn this transistor on, you can see I've got minus 7 volts coming through here. If I go to the second space, I have nothing at all. Oh, why is that? It worked before. There we go, just a loose connection. Oh, somewhere. Here. Somewhere with my pins, but there you go, you've got plus 7 volts on motor 1. That's if you power this transistor, and this transistor is not powered. So we we'll move down to motor 2. Just to show that it all works. Stay in there. So, transistor 3. Oh, this orange wire is no good by the way, things. So there's minus 7 volts on motor 2. And then we power the fourth transistor. And as you can see, we have plus 7 volts going through here. So the simple circuit is you power, this is a 2N2222A two, 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 two or something. Uh, which switches a 147, tip 147, uh, and a 142, and the power goes through here, and then if that one's off and that one's on, you go through this tip 147, through this tip 142, to there, and the same down here. Uh, I did find some plans for a 30 amp H bridge, uh, using a chip, but it was it was much more expensive, uh, maybe twice as much as it was cost to make make this. And to be fair, the drills run normally 18 volts at 3 amps, and I've been running them on 12 volts, probably around 3 amps. I have absolutely no idea. So this is more than adequate for my needs. Uh, I'll do another video when it's connected up. I've got to change the code somewhat in order to use this uh, but I'll, I'll put a drill test up in the next couple of days